Hello, in today's video, we are going to see why anything this to zero is equal to one and why zero factorial is equal to one. So first look at why anything this to zero is one. So we know that two this to one is equal to two. Two this to two is equal to four. Two this to three is equal to eight. Two this to four is equal to 16. Two this to five equal to 32 and so on. We can go to two this to n also. And the same thing happens when we go for negative index. So 2 raised to minus 1 is 1 by 2. So when I say minus 1, it is 1 by 2. So 2 raised to minus 2 is 1 by 4. 1 upon 2 raised to 2, that is 1 by 4. 2 raised to minus 3 is 1 by 8. 2 raised to minus 4 is 1 by 16. So if I look at the pattern, the pattern says when I go from 2 raised to 5 to 2 raised to 4, the answer is uh, from 32 to 16. We divide the answer of 2 raised to 5 by 2. So if I divide 32 by 2, I get 16. If I divide 16 by 2, I get 8. If I divide 8 by 2, 4. 4 by 2, 2. Same thing happens on negative side also. It is 1 by 2. If I divide it by 2, I get 1 by 4. If I divide it by 2, I get 1 by 8. If I divide it by 2, I get 1 by 16. So pattern is same. So same pattern will follow if I have to find 2 raised to 0. Only one number is missing in this sequence. So for 2 raised to 0 also, I need to find some number so if that number if i divide this 2 by 2 i should get that number and if i divide that number by 2 i should get 1 by 2 and that number is 1 and that's why 2 less to 0 is 1 and the same thing will uh, be can be proved using 3 less to 1 3 less to 2 4 less to 1 7 less to 1 any any number so for any number anything less to 0 is always 1. now we'll see why 0 factorial is 1 so for 0 factorial is 1, we'll start with 1 factorial, we know 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2, 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24, 5 factorial is 120 and we can go on. So I can get this number 24 if I divide this number 120 by 5, which is 5 factorial, so I get 24. If I divide this 24 by 4, I get 6. If I divide this 6 by 3, I get 2. If I divide this 2 by 2, I get 1. So if I divide any answer by the number factorial, then I get the answer of previous factorial. And that is the concept of, concept of factorial. So that is the pattern 5, 4, 3, 2. So the next number, if I want to find out 0 factorial, I should divide this number by 1. And then I get 1. So that's why 0 factorial is always 1. So both this method, anything less to zero is one and zero factorial is one. Both this method, the pattern which we are using is called as division pattern. So we have seen the explanation of why anything less to zero is one and why zero factorial is one using division method. Thank you.